Right now, though, mostly clear skies, low to mid-60s downtown after the airport. Wind sustained from the north just at 8 miles per hour. It will get windier as the day goes on. Temperatures will be near seasonal normals, though. We started off this morning pretty mild, 62 for a low. Typically, 54 we is our overnight low with 85 for a high. A record 99 set back on this day in 2017. Not looking at any record-setting conditions today all across the state. Temperatures right now are in the 60s. Boulder, Broomfield, good morning. Castle Rock, you're at 69 degrees and up through Fort Collins and Green in the mid 60s right now into the high country it's 40s and now some low 50s filtering into Eagle and Aspen Leadville nice and cool this morning at 44 degrees it's not going to be nearly as hot especially compared to those triple digits we saw last week we're back to those seasonal normals in the low to mid 80s for much of the Denver Metro so by 1 o'clock we'll be at 82 degrees in town and we'll top out near 86 out at the airport your hiking forecast for today, sunshine this morning, dry conditions, but by 3 o'clock we do have a 10% chance of picking up a few of those gusty late day storms. Yesterday we did see some severe weather over the northeastern plains. Today that risk is lower across the state, but around the front range we have about a 30% chance of seeing an isolated storm. The main weather headline will be the rain and the cold front moving in later on tonight. Now highs today will be in the low to mid 80s from Platteville and through Keensburg down through Parker, Castle Rock, Highlands Ranch and downtown Denver expecting 86 for a high, really pleasant in the foothills, evergreen at 78 degrees, and Boulder topping out near 80. West of the divide, though, still quite warm near Eagle at 90 for a high this afternoon. Aspen in the low 80s, and Grand Junction still very toasty. Triple digit heat extends from there to Moab. Winds right now, last recorded around 15 to 20 miles per hour out near Greeley and Fort Collins, already seeing some gusty winds near Fort Morgan and over Bertha Pass. And then over eastern Colorado, the winds will continue to be strong for this afternoon and will pick up over the western slope. So another afternoon of high fire danger. This weather warning in place until at least 9 o'clock tonight extends from Eagle, Vail, Aspen, down through Gunnison, out to Grand Junction. Here's our statewide future cast, what you can expect for the rest of the day. If you have any plans outdoors with that, it's going to be breezy and sunny through about lunchtime. Clouds increase a little bit as we get into about 430. Not really seeing the same chances for storms later on today, but could see an isolated one over higher elevations and over the northeastern plains. The main weather event will occur later on tonight, mainly after midnight. You can start to see coming in from the north this next cold front. It'll ru rush in some rain for the northeastern plains, Sterling, Lyman, Burlington into downtown Denver, but it's going to be very fast moving. So early tomorrow morning, some wet roadways will be expected. Sunshine, though, west of the Continental Divide. Temperatures tomorrow will be cooler over eastern Colorado. You can see that 70s, Denver, Fort Collins and Greeley. We haven't seen a day this cool in quite some time with 70s and 80s into the mountains still hot over the western slope. So for the Denver area tomorrow morning, it's going to be cooler, a little bit soggy and then clearing skies. 75 for our high, so feeling really nice by the afternoon hours. And then we're back to the 90s. It's going to be hot and dry for the most part as we go through this week, Nicole, with low to mid 90s for wow. Tuesday through the weekend. A lot better than 99. All right. The